Oh, well, we're opening the Salt Spring National Art Prize tonight, opening night. Um, this is a, an amazing uh, endeavor started uh, through the Arts Council. Um, 52 artists chosen from 800 who submitted work, almost 1,300 submissions. So we have artists from all parts of Canada, six provinces, coming to the show. So we're really very excited about that. Um, the show itself has got $25,000 in prize money. All the work is for sale. Well, it's a, uh, a national art show. Uh, juried uh, by three, three excellent jurors um, who have selected 52 pieces from uh, 800 artists from across the country. Um, they're competing for $25,000 in prize money and for Salt Spring it's amazing because it's an opportunity for us to see uh, what the rest of Canada is doing. Although we're fortunate enough to have four Salt Spring artists that, uh, that uh, are, were, were accepted into the show. Um, the artists were selected blindly so the jurors didn't know who they were and we're unveiling um, the 52 works tonight. People will see them for the first time. It is. There's 52 works from across the country. There's sculptures, paintings, photography. Um, just about anything that you can imagine. There's very innovative work. I'd say it's one of the most intriguing shows that you're going to see on the west coast of Canada this year. So who could have entered the SNAP show? Anybody, any Canadian citizen over 19 was eligible to enter, so it was wide open. Um, there was no theme, so they could enter any kind of work that they wanted, and the work needed to be done in the last two years. It's a biannual event, so we're already planning ahead for the 2017 show. So if somebody's going to start work on something now, they could actually start tomorrow and it would be ready for the next show. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I don't know about if they're going to start that fast, but we hope so. Certainly, people know now that it's a pretty competitive uh, competition to get into, so we're going to, I think, see even more submissions next time. I think it's wonderful. I'm so excited this whole uh, project has finally come to fruition. I think we had our first group meeting here at Mon Hall in March of 2014, so it's been uh, a good 18 months coming and we're really excited about the opening night. So when you're a local artist, did you enter anything in the Snap contest? I actually entered two pieces, not with any hope of either getting in, and they didn't get in, but I feel like, well, my 50 bucks contributed towards the whole project, so I'm very excited about it. And so what are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, there's a few things I've actually seen pictures of, I have to admit, because I am the webmaster for, uh, for Snap, so I have seen them online, but it's not the same as seeing things in the flesh, so I'm really excited to see some of the works that, especially 3D things, photography generally doesn't capture them that well, so. What do you think of the, uh, the next one, 2017? Are you going to enter in that one too? Absolutely. We're doing it every two years because it's a big project to do every year. And in the interim years, the, um, the Salt Spring Island Ceramics, the, the Potter's Guild, is going to be running a, an invitational, not rather an invitational, an open uh, prize as well. They're doing a regional um, jury prize. So we'll be having a prize every year at this time of year. So it'll be 25000 25, maybe more, maybe more. We're hoping to get a good foundation going here so that we can have more money each time. I think it's wonderful for Salt Spring Island because it will put us on the national level in um, the media and it's great for tourism. We're an arts community and we should be hosting a National Arts Prize. Oh, it's incredibly exciting. It's so wonderful to see it finally up. I've been allowed to see, or in the last few days, I've seen a few snippets of it coming up and it just looks incredible. So, and your name is? My name is Yael Wand and I work for the Salt Spring Arts Council and I've been working with SNAP as the volunteer coordinator. And it's an exciting night, isn't it? This is the first night. It's very exciting. People are coming in, people are looking at the art for the first time. It's really great to see the, the excitement around it. Anthony Matthews. I'm here as one of the uh, volunteers for SNAP. This is our first uh, biannual exhibit and uh, it's a fantastic turnout. We're five minutes into this show and the room is half full and I can't wait till the show in two years and we hope to see you all here. Tonight we're, we're packed already so we're going to have a great turnout tonight and the show runs for one month so we're going to see lots of visitors come through. Who do you think is going to win? I have my favorites. And I'm with one of the finalists from Salt Spring Island and your name is? Nicola Weston. So what did you enter, Nicole? I entered a part of my stuff series called Tailgate Party and I've worked on a series of paintings that is all about hoarding stuff and this is one of them. This particular one is about garbage, when the garbage is all packed up to go and ready to go to the dump. So are you excited about the chances of winning? 
I'm going to win. <laughs> of course I am. Be fun. Yeah. So, uh, and there's only four finalists from Salt Spring Island, so it's quite an honor out of all the artists here. I was very surprised that I got in, yes. When did you enter, quite a while ago? Pretty late, yes, pretty late, I entered pretty late. Well, congratulations and hopefully you're going to win. Thank you very much. Chris McKenzie. So where are you from, Chris? Vancouver. So you're one of the artists? I am indeed, yes. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, yeah. How did you find out about SNAP? I actually found out about it through a friend. They sent me an email and uh, said, had you heard about it? And I said, no, I hadn't. And they said, well, you know, you should throw something in. So it's what we did. And uh, we got very, very lucky. So I feel very privileged to, to be in the show because it's very, very well put together. And uh, what was there? I think 1,300 submissions or something like that. So uh, yeah, very, very nice to be selected. And so this is your piece right behind you? Uh, this is it. This is off season. And uh, I actually had taken it in a January morning just out wandering around looking uh, for I tend not to uh, I tend not to have ideas and then try to create them in a constructionist kind of way um, you try to impose things I find it doesn't work very well so I'm a bit of a wanderer and uh, it was a nice foggy morning and uh, I just sat for a while on uh, a local beach and then the light shifted nicely and it just came together rather well yeah so it's good you from Vancouver yes from Vancouver yeah yeah, yeah, so, and, uh, yeah, so the piece came together, we put it in, and, uh, yeah, lucky to be here, so, and the show is just wonderful, right, and all, yeah. What we really want to know is, what will you do with the $10,000 of your win? <laughs> definitely, definitely make some more art, no question about that, wouldn't that be just awesome if that happened? <laughs> and your name is? I am Frank Huther. And Frank, what do you do? Kelly, uh, jazz, and we're here to play some jazz for all these lovely artists that have come from all across Canada, and hope to have a beautiful evening here. The sun has decided to shine down on us, and they say we play smooth jazz, but I think we're going to edge it up a little bit, just because it's all spring. So what kind of songs are you going to play? Uh, we're going to do some Latin, we're going to do some swing, we're going to do some originals, we're going to do whatever comes to mind at the time. We like to play uh, everything different every time. So what makes All Spring so special, Frank? Uh, the people. It's, uh, it really is one of the best places to live in the world. you got lots of good people, lots of good minds, lots of good attitude. You can do what you want and say what you want and nobody's going to throw you in the ocean. How's the music scene on Salt Spring? Music scene is fabulous. We've got lots of good venues around the island and the musicians probably outnumber the artists. 